In this tutorial we'll learn how to adapt the Universal Character Customization System to any other character-based project. As an example, we'll integrate it with the Action RPG sample from Epic Games, which you can obtain for free in the marketplace. I'll share a link in the description below. It's a pretty straightforward process, although you might want to back up your project just in case anything goes wrong. First of all, we have to migrate the Universal Character System folder to the Action RPG. So right-click on the folder, click on Migrate. Now, on the Action RPG project, we're going to select the skeleton for both characters. This is the skeleton from the Action RPG project, and this one is, is the UCS skeleton. Now we're going to copy the sockets. You can see that they belong to the right hand. We're going to just copy and paste them here. Click on save. And now we're going to search for the skeleton. I'm going to click delete and make sure to replace the references with the UCS skeleton, right here. Now we're going to right-click on the content folder and select this option, Fix up redirectors in folder. We're also going to save the project. Now let's open the character blueprint. And just to make this easier, we're going to open the sample character from UCS as well. So this is the character from the Action RPG template. We're going to add the UCS component here. And now we're going to copy all the skeletal meshes from the sample character and paste them here. We're going to make sure that they are parented to the actual mesh and we also have to make sure that the location and rotation is zero. We're also going to change this character to the mannequin just to make sure that the, the feet are aligned with the capsule. Finally, we're going to the sample character on the construction script and we're going to copy all this content and paste it on the construction script from the player character blueprint, here. Hit on compile and finally, we're going to click on the UCS component and select the character that we want to use. Hit on compile save and that's it. Now let's hit on play. So you can see that the animations and the gameplay are working perfectly. If you have any questions, please let me know on the comments below or feel free to send a support email to the address on the description. Thank you.